take it away. Give your stuff and take it away. Give your stuff and take it away. He'll play with you. He'll play with you. Give your stuff one minute and take it away. Just because he doesn't want you to have anything, his goal is to kill you. Why do you see people jumping out of buildings because the stock market drops? The Bible tells us in Proverbs 10 and 22 that the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and adds with it no sorrow. So if you got a job and you stress and sweating, not, that's not from God. If you got something you think you're going to lose it and you're worried about it, it's, con it's consuming you like that, it's not from God. Because when God blesses you, there's no sorrow attached with it. Okay? So I walked out of the aneurysm. No long-term effects. No slurred speech. No memory loss. No blindness. No paralysis. No medicine. All those things that everybody was telling me. The doctor was even telling my family, oh, he's going to probably have to go to rehab for about two or three months. We don't even know if he'll be able to talk for a couple of days. I woke up out of surgery and said, what are y'all doing in here? Because I looked around the room and saw my family. But God is bigger than an aneurysm. But I had to go through it so I could tell you that. So a lot of things you're going to have to deal with, you have to go through them so you can tell somebody. Now, let me ask you this. There are really only a couple of reasons why God will bless you with so much money it blows your mind. Do you know what they are? I'll write that question down. I'm going to answer that for you. We're going to have some fun. Y'all ready? We're about to take a trip, y'all. Are you ready is what I want to know. Okay. Now, first thing we want to talk about is a lot of people think there's some golden rule or there's some, some big thing they're looking for. Prosperity is really pretty simple. Matter of fact, all you really need to know about prosperity can be summed up in two scriptures, if you understand this, okay? First one, Romans 8, 32, which tells us that God gave his only begotten son for us. Why wouldn't he not also freely give us all things? So let me give you the, the, the analysis of that. If I give you a million dollars, and then you call me back the next day and say, look, can I get a quarter? Why wouldn't I give you the quarter? I already gave you my best gift. Why wouldn't I give you? So in other words, if God already gave us his best gift, Jesus, why wouldn't he give you a good job? Why wouldn't he let you have prosperity? Why wouldn't he let you be the one that can bless people? Why wouldn't he allow your children to grow up blessed? God is not holding that back from you. It's not him. And then to further make the point, if you go over to Timothy, it says that God gives us...